So cheat meals can absolutely be a part of your routine, even if your goal is fat loss. However, you do have to be careful with them because if you go into the weekend and you have a 10,000 calorie cheat meal and your goal is fat loss, you are going to put yourself into a caloric surplus for that week and you will not lose body fat. And if this is something that continuously happens on weekends, it doesn't matter how on point you are throughout the week, it's going to throw you off. It's gonna take you out of your caloric deficit and ruin the hard work you're doing. So you need to be able to enjoy yourself. I always have my clients have an untracked treat meal. I do this myself as well, but you do, you gotta be aware of what you're doing. Once in a while, you might wanna just go all out and eat as much as you can, but over Overall, most of the time you want to be a little bit careful so in this video I'm gonna show you how I did that this past weekend if you struggle keeping your cheat meals under control this is a great way to kind of keep tabs on what you're doing so you don't let things go crazy I'm gonna show you that we're gonna fast forward back to Sunday, August 25th, when it was my birthday. It is now not Sunday. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so before we get into the video, I just wanna give a little tiny backstory because I don't want people to misunderstand. So typically, so today's my birthday and typically I would allow that to be a free for all. I would just eat anything and everything, but I did that on Wednesday because we had early birthday celebrations. I went to a Chinese buffet. I went high. I ate as much as I possibly could. And yeah, so I don't want all these days just going extreme. I want to keep today under control. I want to enjoy myself. And if there's something I want to eat, I'm going to eat it. But it's not a like, oh my gosh, how much can I eat today? I'm going to eat as much as I possibly can. I'm just going to be more mindful of things. So I'm going to roughly estimate calories. I don't have a calorie goal for the day either. If I end up eating at maintenance, fine. If I end up eating even above maintenance and a small surplus, that's probably what I'll do. And that is also fine because like I said, a small surplus, like say if I eat like 3,500 calories for me, that's not that bad. I'll probably respond decent to it. But if I, if I just let it be a free for all, I'll probably eat 8,000 calories. So we're not doing that. So so oh, what I'm gonna do is just each meal because I'm going out for lunch and dinner today So at lunch, I'll just like take a picture of the food and then afterwards I'll go on to my fitness pal and just estimate each ingredient and just get a rough idea of the calories It's simply just keeping a little bit of an idea of the numbers so things aren't crazy and I'm still gonna enjoy the day because even though I've eaten a lot I still want to enjoy my birthday I will take you guys with me I will show you my food I'm going to lunch soon and I am hungry and I am excited so Oh, side note, I plan my meals according to how much I'm gonna eat. So on Wednesday, I planned on eating an absolute feast. So I wore like a loose sundress. Whereas today, since I wanna keep it more in control, I'm wearing like jeans and a smaller top because that's not comfortable. If you eat like all this food and you're in your jeans and you're like, Bleh. so that's another thing. I plan my outfits according to how much I wanna eat doesn't always go according to plan. Sometimes I'll wear something like this and still end up being like, Bleh. but it's worth, it, it works. It's like all about the mindset, you know? If you're going in in a loose baggy sundress that could be used for a maternity, you're probably gonna walk away <laughs> looking like that that's what you are. But if you wear something tight, you might be a little bit more like, okay, I feel myself being full. So yeah, that's what I do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Woo, food. So first restaurant I went to was a Greek restaurant by the water. I went there for a lunch. It was super, super nice. I've been there before and I stuck with more nutritionally dense type foods. Not completely, but a little more. I wasn't gonna get like say, a burger and fries at lunch and dinner so I was like I'm gonna save a little bit more room for dinner and still enjoy myself at lunch but not eat as fun so that is what I did okay this is shrimp souvlaki so I've got shrimp obviously and potatoes and asparagus and red pepper and, oh my God, 
Oh my gosh, so good. Sorry. Sorry. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god. Neither of these places had nutrition information, so I'm just gonna tell you how I estimated this. So the shrimp, it was nine pieces, so I literally just put in nine pieces of shrimp. The then you always want to estimate some type of oil because they're not going to use cooking spray at a restaurant when they're cooking sh shrimp. So I put one and a half teaspoons. That might be more than they actually use, but that's what I put. Um, then for the potatoes, I put that it was, I literally just typed in Greek potatoes and I put 3.5 ounces. The portion size was fairly small, so it seemed about right. And then there was rice. Again, I might have been slightly overestimating, but that's about what it is. And then we've added another olive oil because there obviously was going to be olive oil in the potatoes, the rice. And then there was something on the side of my plate and I don't know what it was. I don't know. I don't know. So I, I typed in hummus. It's probably not hummus, but I just put, I was like 70 calories. Yeah, that seems about right. Okay, I've got a Greek salad. Well, little cute Greek salad right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and then I just typed in Greek salad and since it was pretty small, I just went with a fairly low one, 117 calories. And then for the bruschetta, I, it was just a fairly small piece. It didn't seem super oily or anything. So again, I just typed it in. I had actually I had a piece and a half. So I just typed it in, picked an average amount of calories and that was it. Dropped all the toppings. This is tragic. Tragic. <laughs> so my total. Oh shit! I never tracked the mojito. Ah, it's a mojito. Woohoo! <laughs> so. Woo. Okay, one second. Okay, so this is where my fitness pal is not the best for looking up calories for drinks because they're all over the freaking place. So this is where you go to Google and you type in calories in a mojito and it kind of clears, clears the air, helps you figure it out. So let's see, calories in mojito. Mm, they're so good. A hundred? No. Oh, no. <laughs> it says skinny, skinny version. So make sure if you put, if you Google, because I know they're pretty high cal. So if you Google how many calories, make sure it's not, oh, this is the light version. And then you're like, oh, look at me. I'm having 100 calories. And you're actually having like 300 calories. 242 calories. And we'll, we'll go with that. That sounds pretty accurate. There we go. So my total for that meal is... 1400 calories it's probably a little bit over it's hard to say but again that was enough so i was like okay this is good so i could have at least another like 1500 2000 cows for dinner and it's not that bad like i know that's high but for me the odd day like that isn't too bad i mean i know i said i had just been off track for a couple weeks but i was like you know it's my birthday it's the last day. So that was what I did. So in terms of picking the, like figuring out the portion sizes, you can just eyeball it. There's hand measurements that you can use. It's basically like a certain amount of your hand. Like say a fist is supposed to be a cup. Obviously everyone's hands are different sizes. So again, it's an estimation, but it can just be a good little ballpark range. So yeah, that was that meal. Okay, so for dinner, the restaurant was extremely dark, so I didn't really get any good pictures. I had this really yummy drink, and it was called State Mint. The restaurant's called State and Main. So it was Bombay, Sapphire Gin, Peach Schnapps, Cucumber, Fresh Mint, Lime, Soda. Probably similar amount of calories to the mojito, so that's how I'm gonna estimate it. I'm just gonna, like it was similar kind of idea, so then there we go, right off the bat now, we know that that's what it is, or we're thinking. And then everything else, same thing. There was not any in nutritional inf information. So I had this sandwich, and or it was a burger. It was called a grilled cheese burger. So it was basically like a grilled cheese sandwich, but with a burger in it. So I looked up grilled cheese sandwich, or no, sorry. I looked up grilled cheese burger on my fitness pal, and I didn't really see any. So oh, there was a lot of blue cheese burgers. So I was just like... 
let's just go with that. So again, I picked like an average. It was a fairly large burger, so I didn't want to pick like insanely high calories. It wasn't gonna, it didn't look like it was like 1200 calories, but it wasn't only like 400 calories. I put 631 cals. Yeah, because the bread wasn't huge, so there we go. And then the fries, it wasn't a huge portion size, so I was gonna look up medium fries, but instead, I found one, it was just at like 280, and that seemed like a good kind of average number. Then I had a salad, and it had, it was a green salad, but it had stuff in it, so it had some nuts, it had, I can't remember, I think it might have been balsamic dressing, so same thing. Oh, and it had some goat cheese, so same thing, all I did was estimate that. I thought, okay, it's not a large amount of walnuts, so we're going to track that it's two teaspoons. For the goat cheese, there wasn't a ton, so I tracked half an ounce, and the dressing, I just put a tablespoon, so very, very rough. Very, very rough, but still, again, just keeping account of things. And then for dessert, I had, they called, at this restaurant, it was called Dirt Pie, and it was so good. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's so cute. It was like a chocolate ice cream cake, and it was amazing. It wasn't huge though, so when I first Googled, or when I first typed it into my fitness pal, my fitness pal came up with one that was 1,500 calories, and there's no way. It could be quite high, but there's no freaking way it was 15. So I'm gonna say it was like 500, 600, and leave it at that. puts us at 3,159 calories for the day, which for me, for a cheap meal, is reasonable. That is not a bad amount at all. So yeah, so what tracking did was just kind of keep things organized in my mind, because sometimes if you're going through a day and you're not tracking at all, you're having like treat, fun kind of foods, it's very, very easy to go overboard. So by just keeping a rough, like a rough note of what you've had so far, it can help you mentally just like kind of stay the course somewhat. Because if you were tracking and then say you ended up having multiple burgers <laughs> and like massive portions of fries and if you continue to track it, you would see, oh, I'm at like 8,000 calories now. So then that might, might have you stop. So for me, it is something that kind of just keeps me focused, keeps me on the path I want to be. So that's how that day went. It went really well. And if you're somebody, like, I do think it's important to know how to eat treat meals without having to track your day. But I know some people really struggle with it. They really struggle with staying kind of on track or not going completely overboard. So by doing what I just showed you, you could almost use that as like training wheels because you'll get used to the feeling of having like an enjoyable day but not going too overboard. So again, as you're estimating it, you'll just become more familiar with what that feels like as opposed to just having a weekend where it's just like, oh my gosh, I'm eating as much as I possibly can. This is just kind of like a happy medium. So of course, everyone's different. For some people, 3,000 would, or 3,200 would probably put them might be a little bit too much, but again, everyone is different. All right, and that is the gist of it. That is how I estimate calories when I kind of want to stay sort of a little bit on track. It's definitely something that gets easier over time. Just do your best. Like I said, this in this exact scenario, the idea isn't to be tracking to get an exact calorie count. The idea was just to have something on paper, <laughs> aka on my fitness pal, just to remind me where I'm at, not to go too extreme. If you have trouble keeping your cheat meals somewhat under control, try this out, see how it goes, 
don't obsess over it. Still enjoy yourself because extreme approaches results in extreme disappointment. And that's all I have to say for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.